Hello everyone. Welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to talk about another problem that we got from British Mathematical Olympiad from 2013. In this problem, we have an expression and we want to evaluate it. We have 2014 to the power of 4 plus 4 times 2013 to the power of 4 over 2013 to the power of 2 plus 4027 to the power of 2. This is the first term and for the second term we have 2012 to the power of 4 plus 4 times 2013 to the power of 4 over 2013 to the power of 2 plus 4025 to the power of 2. We need to evaluate these two terms and we need to finally subtract the second term from the first term to find the final answer. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about this problem. To solve this problem, we are going to start with using n for 2013. Basically, we want to simplify the whole expression but instead of using with numbers, we are going to use with some variables. If 2013 is n, then 2014 is going to be n plus 1, 2012 is going to be n minus 1, and we can write 4027 as 2 times n plus 1, and finally for 4025, we can use 2n minus 1. Now, let's use the variables instead of those numbers to simplify the whole expression a little bit. As you can see here, the final expression is n plus 1 to the power of 4 plus 4n to the power of 4 over n to the power of 2 plus 2n plus 1 to the power of 2 minus n minus 1 to the power of 4 plus 4n to the power of 4 over n squared plus 2n minus 1 squared. Now let's simplify this expression a little bit more. To do this, we are going to start from the denominators. We are going to simplify 2n plus 1 to the power of 2 and 2n minus 1 to the power of 2. If we do this, then we will end up with the expression that you are seeing here. As you can imagine, now we are going to work with denominators. We are going to simplify n plus 1 to the power of 4 and n minus 1 to the power of 4. If we do these, then we will have with the expression that you see here. From here, we are going to apply some more simplifications. And then at the end, we have 5n to the power of 4 plus 4n to the power of 3 plus 6n to the power of 2 plus 4n plus 1 for the first denominator and 5n to the power of 2 plus 4n plus 1 for the first denominator. If you see and check the denominators that we have for the first term with the denominator that we have for the second term, you can see that basically we have the same terms but some signs are negative. This is actually happened for the denominators as well. Now let's simplify them a little bit further to see what we get. Let's focus on the first term first. We are going to simplify 5n to the power of 4 plus 4n to the power of 3 plus 6n to the power of 2 plus 4n plus 1 and write it as multiplication of two terms. The first term is the term that we have in the denominator, which is 5n squared plus 4n plus 1. The second term is going to be n squared plus 1. Now if we replace these and we simplify denominator and denominators, then for the whole term we have n squared plus 1. We can use the same approach for the second term that we have in the initial expression. If we use this, then we can simplify the whole expression that we have in the second term 
and write it as n squared plus 1 again. Obviously, we have n plus 1 for the first term and n plus 1 for the second term. So at the end, we will have n plus 1 minus n plus 1 and we will have 0 for the whole expression and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzle and math involved activities, please subscribe to the channel. This is the SQRT channel.